Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Creative Watcher. In this video, we are going to be creating a sports shoe product poster. So, um, without any further ado, let's move forward. Now, my file size is 8 by 10 inches. It's in inches. I don't really like using pixels. I like using inches. So, it's 8 with the width and 10 the height. 300 resolution. The same settings and then click create now i already have uh my f um, files if you cannot follow this tutorial you can download the file in the link under this video so let's move forward i have a png transparent shoe here which i, I want to use to save us time note we are designing this from scratch so i don't have a particular thing that i'm looking at there's no reference so now the concept is to just advertise that this is a nike issue or uh, so we'll give it a caption like uh, nike sports or something like that let's let's what we'll create first of all let's invert this the position that the shoe is facing so i want the shoe this place to face this area so right click and then click flip horizontal to change the position then hold out on your keyboard and then reduce the shoe size to something like this and then press enter note if you are using photoshop 2017 and below hold out and shift but if you are using photoshop 2019 and upward just hold out so now let's zoom in this is our shoe so we need a fresh color to make the shoe pop out because being only just on the white background it's not looking nice so now you zoom in here let's pick this blue color now click on this your color tool and then with the eyedropper tool pick this deep blue color here i think this is okay and then click ok and then create a new layer zoom out go to your brush tool and then right click set your brush hardness to 100 you can set to, to any size so I, i'm just putting the color here so that i can remember so press it once then zoom in again click on the lighter color of the blue right now on the shoe let's pick something like this yeah it's okay then click ok now zoom out and then same on your layer that you just created click here so you can have the two colors also let's also pick this orange color and red is orange and red so let's pick this orange here and then click and then pick this red here and then click so we are done with the colors so these are the colors of the shoe except for the white and the black which are normal colors so let's name this layer color and then come to the layer the background layer here create another new layer and then click on your eyedropper tool and pick this blue color and then come to this uh, your colors here click this area to switch colors and then click on them and pick this color this blue color this light blue color so now go to your paint bucket tool and go to gradient under your gradient settings click on your gradient and then pick this first gradient you see here is a combination of the first two colors we picked here so click on it here and then click ok now drag your gradient from here to here so this is what happens now i want to invert the gradient i thought it was going to follow the other way around so click on the edge here right click and then flip horizontal and then right click again then flip vertical so it will be like this because where this shoe is facing is the light source so the light color is supposed to be here and the dark color is supposed to be here then press enter zoom in as you can see the shoe is looking nicer and cleaner on this gradient background now let's name the background a gradient background now right click on the layer and then convert it to smart object so any effects will make on it to not affect the original uh, layer now go to your filter 
go to noise and then add noise set your noise value amount to 12 and then click ok now you will see that there's a major change let me let's turn on and off if i turn it off it's just plain if i turn it on you, you can see textures around it so i want to have textures around the noise stuff now let's turn off our color now go to your shoe um layer let's name it shoe and then double tap to go to blending options now go to your drop shadow in your blending options let's reset these settings now click make sure your color of the shadow is red is black and then your blend mode is set to multiply the opacity should be 75 we can still come back to that uncheck this use global light and then set your angle to 47 because that's where the light is coming from so the distance increase the distance to something like this 91 the size to something like this still increase the distance a bit and then reduce your opacity now increase your size a bit now as you can see the, sh the shoe itself is already popping out from the background and it's looking very very nice now let's move forward we can see increase the distance a bit to something like let's say 200 no, let's bring it down to 190 exactly now we can increase our can increase our opacity a bit and then come here to your noise increase your noise to something like uh let's leave it nine so that the noise of the shadow can blend with the noise of the one at the background so let's click ok now we already have our shoe like this so it's looking nice that's popped out from the background next thing is to add our text so i'm using two type of text effect here one is the normal text and one is the outline text if you want to get more ideas on how to create an outline text click the link there's a there's a banner that pops out in this video that you see how to create an outline text you can also check the link under this video description to get more idea so now i'm going with a font called bebas let's go change our color to white first and then go to our text type bebas font if you don't have it i can put a link under this video so you can download it or better still you can download the project file so bebas bebas regular then i'll just write um nike but nike i said it's nike it's not nike so yeah so this is the nike um word now come to your windows here and then click character it will give you this um banner here now under this banner i want to set this v and a is your kerning it is your kerning so i want to set the kerning to minus 40 I press enter to make the font enter inside the bit and they will congest together that's all then i press and close this window here and go to your move tool so here we are on our move tool here let's bring the font under the shoe and then bring it up here now we have to duplicate the font because we want to do something else with it then let's write shoes so now this your text this your two texts press control on your keyboard and then highlight the second text which is the nike so that they can stay together and then go to your move tool and then click this left aligning icon here to align the fonts together like this so now this is okay now 
we need to bend the font like make it italics so click on it make sure that the both text are selected right click and then go to skew now skew from this place here this anchor point that is here let me zoom in this anchor point here click like this and bend it to the right like this so it will look more dramatic then press enter now you use your arrow keyboard left arrow keyboard on your keyboard left arrow key on your keyboard and then move to the side to the left a bit move your text to the left a bit and then this is okay now press ctrl g to group both layers so i name it nike shoes then press ctrl j to duplicate bring this duplicated version of the text up over the shoe and then go to your fill here and then take your fill down to zero this is the outlining text effect that we want to do now so now after you're taking your fill to zero double tap on the grouped layer then go to your stroke set your stroke value to four let's put four yeah it's okay now this is how your your your, your design will look like as you can see here now i like the fact that there is the outline on top of the shoe but it's not really nice when it's um on the font below the shoe now this is what we'll do convert this group to copy to a smart object and then once it has convert to smart object this is loading yeah when that's convert to smart object click on this mask icon here and then go to your polygonal lasso tool then zoom in and then click from here like as if as though you are cutting the shoe then zoom out if you want to zoom out press ctrl and minus key minus sign on your keyboard then make sure you have cut the areas like this and then switch this color here to black then go to your brush tool now paint these areas that has the outline here so paint it so that it will remove it's like a do you are cleaning it away from it now press once you are done press ctrl d to deselect as you can see it gives us something like this now this is very nice now we can stop here but at the same time it, it will not be much entertaining because it's just there now this here is what we'll do this our outline copy here duplicate it and then let's delete this um mask here click on this uh, icon here and take it to the delete but um trash can here move the text uh, outline text up here and then come down take the outline text beneath the shoe and then you can increase it it's just your style there is no there is no protocol we are not following anybody's protocol so we are just designing what we feel is right so as you can see it's making sense now because we are giving in some styles and some effects on the design to not make it too much of white we can change this outline to the orange color we had now come to your color layer here then turn it on go to your eyedropper and then click on the color now come where you have that outline click on it create a new layer and then right click and then create clipping mask and then go to your gradient to go to paint bucket and then click to paint on the outline since you've clipped it to the line now this is nice but it is not bright let's click on this orange color here and go to a lighter one take it to something lighter and come to this icon here yeah this is right then click ok then click and see 
this is nice but it's not nice at the same time so i think we should leave it to that white that it was before then delete now this your um our outline take it beneath this uh original nike shoes font here take it under it so it's not to disrupt our design we can also still add some shapes if you feel like the text is not really working we can add some shapes now let's add some shapes create a new layer under the shoe and then with this color we've picked go to your circle your ellipse to sorry and then hold shift and drag and then press enter you can then bring it to somewhere like this you can reduce it also hold shift and alt and then click from the edge press enter and bring it here and then we can just give it some minor text create a new layer which change of text color to white so right now i'm using i want to change my font to poppins but let, let's first write um www.nike.com oh sorry www.nike.com and then go to poppins font then reduce the, our font size to something like 12 align the fonts to the center something like this and then let's align to the center yeah i think we are done yeah we are done we are done let me zoom out very well then let me give you the full screen this is what we've created so it's just your own style try your own style don't just follow mine if you try yours and it gives you something different fine post it on your instagram tag me at creative or chair on instagram creative underscore or chair on instagram let me see yours and creativity does not have limits so if you try yours and it's better than mine fine let me see it let me know what you can do with this and of course you never know how better you might increase your own design skills so thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate i would like if you hit the like button and then subscribe to this channel once the videos blesses you click the sh um, share icon and then share it to your friends share it to your social media platforms so more people can see this video that being said thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the very next video